analysis on this race right now. Ten on your side, Stephanie Harris is with political analyst Joel Rubin. Thanks, Tom. Joel, let's talk about that picture we just saw that Andy <laughs> Fox brought us, where you have all of those Democrats on the stage. Our new governor, lieutenant governor, you have our senators, all Democrats, President Obama in the White House. One Virginia, twice in a row. Is Virginia a Republican state anymore? Well, that's a good question. I mean, when you look at that, you look at Terry McAuliffe, and the only reason McAuliffe won was that Cuccinelli was such a weak candidate. He had made himself anathema to women across Virginia, not all women, but a lot of women, who just couldn't vote for the guy. I mean, the polls, I'm sure we'll find out, the poll was correct that most, the vast majority of women voted for Terry McAuliffe. In the last few days or weeks even, uh, Cuccinelli tried to make Obamacare the big issue. So what does that say? Does that say Virginia doesn't think that this Obamacare is, is such a bad deal anymore? Well. We're going to find out. In fact, we just heard Terry McAuliffe talking about the Medicaid expansion, which is going to be the big issue yes. in the General Assembly coming up. Uh, uh, McAuliffe wants that money to come to Virginia. Cuccinelli did not. Bob McDonald did not. The House delegates does not. So that's going to be a big issue facing the General Assembly and this new governor when he goes into office next month or in January. A lot of people are saying, too, with Robert Sarvis, Libertarian candidate, that could have cost Cuccinelli this race. Do you think that's true or the number is not really panning out that way we, at this we, point? It, it's hard to say. We mm -hmm. won't know until there's some exit polling where they actually ask the people that voted for Sarvis, did you vote for him because he's a Libertarian? Did you vote for him because you didn't like Cuccinelli? I mean, typically, Libertarian voters would probably vote for the Republican candidate. But Ken Cuccinelli is not a very good Libertarian. Let's face it. A lot of people feel like Cuccinelli was very, you know, imposing right. government on women and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. And so they didn't see him as really a, 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 a bedfellow with them in this election. All right. Well, coming up uh, in just a little bit, we're going to talk a little bit more. I believe you and Tom will talk about what we can expect perhaps with uh, Terry McAuliffe as a governor. Yes. Nicole?